we are with the coolest guy in the paddock. Everybody knows who this guy is. He's on Instagram, he's everywhere on social media, and one of the fastest guys in the world, Ken Roxon. Ken, welcome to MXTV. Thank you, yeah, appreciate it. Ken, first up, mate, what advice would you give some kids out there, or even adults that are going through maybe some injuries, and we know you've had yours and we know all about it. Yeah. What advice do you give them to come back riding? Because you, you've come back strong, mate. Yeah, I've had a fair share of injuries, and I also went through, you know, for especially these big injuries, because I was so far out, like not even knowing if I'm ever going to be able to like do normal things with it again. So I was actually in Florida and I was laying in the grass after being four weeks in the hospital and Rick, I don't know, eight surgeries later. And I decided right there and then that I'm not just going to sit here and, and wait that if this arm heals again. So what actually helped me out big time is working out. You know, the hormones that it that you release when you work out a lot. So activity is great. Like that's the yeah. biggest thing. And I, I worked out a lot at one point, but one thing is for sure that I never did. I never gave up. I had that ambition in me to, to just, you know, get back to it. And that's the biggest piece of advice is keep positive. And, it's and tough really... at first, trust me. I've been, yeah. I've gone through depression too, because, you know, you go from winning everything to this and it's okay to take your mind off of uh, off of the sport when you need it like this with, yeah. with these injuries and stuff it's yeah. it's not about 24 7 you know I always like to have a good balance with having family fun and 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 having a good time uh, besides racing dirt bikes but me being off for so long every time I hop on the bike I it's one of the greatest things that I uh, that ever decided to do when you were a kid in the mini ranks who what rider did you look up to who was a rider that you admired most um, I think that would probably be Ricky Carmichael. Um, really? When I came over for the first time to the U.S. to race Minios, um, it was with you know with the support of Suzuki and, and my parents, and uh, they surprised me. We were going to this farm in Florida, and uh, I didn't know whose farm it was. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and then eventually, uh, Ricky just came riding out, and he was riding, and I'm like, "Is that like you know?" There was a total surprise. So, but even growing up, I think it was uh, definitely Ricky that. Um, that most of the people look up to. So Ricky would be the guy. And with that too, what, what sort of advice would you give a youngster these days that wants to be in a position that you are today? What's the best piece of advice you could give them? Um, obviously I've done it for quite a while now no, and I turned have. pro really early, but yeah. the biggest thing, like when I turned pro when I was 15, the year before that, so basically through the winter time, that is actually probably the first time that I put in an effort into training. Before I was a kid, you know, and my dad, my parents, they were like, dude, you gotta do kid things. So I was riding and stuff, but I was doing a lot. I was riding my bicycle, I was riding pit bike, I was having fun, and I, I would show up on the weekend and just race, and I was already pretty good. But then people were freaked out that I, the reason I made such a big step from being an amateur to being pro and then racing GPs, because that was the first time I actually gave it an effort to train and like prepare myself and just full on get out there, you know what I mean? So. That's when I made the biggest step. So, you know, to anybody that is not pro yet, I can tell you to, to have a good balance. I, I, I value family a lot and and uh, yeah, just I have I try to have a lot of fun and, and outside of the sport. That makes me so much happier on the dirt bike too, because then when I go riding, I'm just I'm all about it, you know. So Ken, fantastic to chat with you today. It's been amazing. Thank you very much for your time. Absolutely. One last one for the kids out there. Um, have fun kids and don't let ever have anybody tell you that you can't do it because it really only matters what, what your mentality is and, and uh, I think there's always a lot of people that are going to doubt a person but I like to be my own, uh, I like to be the person that makes my own, um, that makes things happen, you know? Yeah. And uh, afterwards, after trying and failure is okay, I think that's the biggest thing. If you don't do anything, you can't do anything wrong. So the trying is the biggest part and if it doesn't work out, the world is not ending, I can tell you that much. So, hope you guys enjoy out there and I hope I can be out in Australia someday. I haven't been there yet, so that's on my bucket list.